What's up guys, I'm student Dr. Thompson and I wanted to talk to you about medical specialty aptitude testing. I, before making this video, I set out with the goal to take every single medical specialty aptitude test on the web to compare all the results and find out what I'm supposed to be and then provide that information so that you guys could do the, the exact same thing yourselves. Um, as I was searching, I found that there were really only two medical specialty aptitude tests. Virginia University of Virginia School of Medicine offers probably the main one, the one that's quoted on most forums that pops up highest in search engine results. Um, then there's another one by Buffalo University. I think it's a school in New York. Um, each test had completely different formats. Some questions overlapped, but most of most of the time I felt like it was targeted towards a different um, style of of evaluating my personality. But not surprisingly, um, the results of each test, the medical specialties that they ranked me highest in were completely different. So in conclusion, are these tests bogus? Well, you might say they're bogus because there's only two of them. There's a red flag there. If they were more helpful, there would be more available to take and the results were completely different, there's another red flag there. Um, so I did come to the conclusion that they are somewhat bogus. But the bright side of things is I felt like it was a good springboard to get me to start thinking, open my eyes as to what kind of person I am, the personality types, the as uh, attributes that I possess. And, you know, to, to make me more aware that different specialties fit different personalities better. So I invite you guys to take these two aptitude tests. I've got the links in the description and let me know what you think. Did your results line up? Um, like I said, I only had two, which were gastroenterology and radiation oncology, two specialties that I've never even considered. So let me know if yours lined up better than mine have. And, uh, I hope you guys find this as a way to, uh, you know, start thinking about what you want to be when you become a doctor.